Well, we can, we can get started. Um, uh, minutes. I did read the minutes. And I thought they were good. I thought they were fine. They were short. All right. All those, uh, oh, I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes as written. A second. Tim Cook. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Nobody. I need to abstain because I was not there. Okay, fair enough. I mentioned that wasn't there either. Uh, I'm an alternate and vote in this cast. In right. in this, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Me neither. Absolutely. Yeah, you do have a quorum. You do. Barely, yeah. Barely, yeah. Barely. Right. Quorum, come on. Three. Yeah. yeah. That's well, that's need. barely. Um, all right. Uh, review dates for a public hearing for tree trimming on scenic roads. What is this about? So, um, Eversource is going to come through and uh, trim trees and lime. And because we have scenic roads, uh, there has to be a public hearing on that tree trimming that the residents can come and say, yay, nay, or you know, tell me more about it, and they'll have a representative here. But I thought scenic roads have no wires running down. Yeah. They do. Oh, and plenty of wires. Yeah. But on scenic roads, they, they come through it every four or five years. Yep. And, and they, they are required to get permission from uh, owners on, on his land. Actually, the, the guy just came by my house, which is not on the scenic road, and they pretty much want your want your permission anyway, but they're legally required. Uh, there has to be a public hearing, and I usually have them send in their specs for what they, you know, where the, how far they're cutting back. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think they try to do it for seven years. They try to yeah, cut, back. cut it every it lasts for seven years. Well, they also do like major transmission line um, clearing, which sometimes uses herbicides. So it's good to ask them, yep. especially the off-road stuff. My old house up on Flint Hill, the power line went through my pasture, and they were going to spray herbicides. So it, it's really important for people to understand what's actually happening. Some mechanical removal that that pasture area wasn't on. So yeah. Eversource does transmission lines? Well, Aspelin. Uh, well, they they hire. Yeah. Oh, so they, it's all farmed farm. out to Aspelin. Right. Well, but well, they are the ones that request the, the public hearing. And but David, if somebody on the scenic road doesn't get permission, they still cut it, don't they? As long as it, well, if it's in the right of way, but if it's not in the right of way, they can't. It's off the scenic road, then there's no clearing, but you have to work with them. You know, some of the town roads don't even have a right because it's only a viatic right away, and then people own to the center of the road, the, the butters own to the center of the road. I don't know how that works. Yeah, when I, when I was in Etna, they did notify, but it wasn't in the form of uh, asking. It was telling. Well, you, well, you weren't on a scenic road. You didn't have scenic roads probably at that time. What road were you on? I was on, on uh, Quail Drive. That's not a scene. It has to be designated. Murray. It's, it's wonderful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as nice as Partridge. Right. Almost as nice as Partridge. Yeah. 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 The scenic roads have to be designated by the town. I see. Specifically. <coughs> so, so there you've actually official, got to say so. Yeah, it's an official thing. There's five, five roads. And it's only the utility companies in the town that are regulated by the scenic road law. So an individual can go cut. So anyway, yeah, there so, needs to be so a public hearing. Um, um, so we're looking. Uh, I was thinking March twenty eighth um, would give them plenty of time to get uh, people, whoever they're going to send as a representative. Um, but I'd like to at least give them two dates. Yep. Um, and then we have to send out notices. To no. So, okay. yep, although it, historically the board has asked that I send out notices yeah. to all the people. Oh yeah. my God, that's a lot. You should get them to pay for that. I usually do. Yeah, but so. there, there's a weird notice requirement. Yeah. Um, it's two notices within, you know, 14 and 7 days, so you have to, it's yeah, not like the normal. Yeah, the, the RSA, yeah. Yeah. which is another reason why I put it out at least the 28th, because that gives me plenty of time to. Yeah. Um, so the, I was in the 28th of uh, March. And 
uh, the 11th of February, or two, oh, April, February. April. Or April. Oh, April, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, how is that for everybody? Just fine. Great. Great. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's <clears throat> missing a lot. Um, right. I mean, typically, I mean, the last time you guys came in, he was terrific. He said, we have to do this, we hate to do it, but we got to keep the lines clear. A couple people were here and asked a couple questions, and he was pretty, pretty good, pretty open and conversive. Okay. Well, if you have like a special tree, <coughs> you can work with them so that they don't. There's much clearing right. around yep. and stuff. But, well, yeah. I think that's the, the thing that they're here. Yeah. That he seemed open to listen to right. Yeah. But I think realistically, when they're actually working, is when people go out there well, and watch them. Right. You it's know, hard. and say, "What are you cutting here?" Because they, mean? it's hard to imagine. You know, sort of imagine what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. right. So, so what is our position? What was what is the planning board's position on this work? It's not a, you don't have a position on the work. The um, reason you're holding the public hearing is to give the opportunity to the public to come in and listen to the fact that this is going to happen and they can okay. ask questions. And so you're, you're basically a... Um, they dumped it on us instead of the select board. The select board is in charge of roads, so it makes no sense that the planning board has to do this, but they dumped it on the planning board. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it, you, the, the board is basically just a facilitator to um, it's just get people. We're a venue for uh, for the event. Yeah. yeah. For the party. And that doesn't stop individuals from no. talking to our power company. No. Nope. Yeah. to the trimmers. No, it, it, it's just a matter of getting people aware that it's going to happen and have the opportunity to uh, talk to a representative. Um, and then, if you know, a lot of times what happens if you have a Vicky said, if you have a special treaty that you are worried about, uh, then you can talk. You know, you'll talk to the representative there, and he'll you can take it offline, and they'll make arrangements. And, yeah. I've asked them to take down extra trees because you kind of go up here, and then the power lines there, and that's not a healthy tree, mm -hmm. even though it's out of the right of way. Right. Mm -hmm. I've asked them to do it just because I want the firewood. <laughs> there are trees that I want for firewood that are leaning towards the power lines that I'm not confident to take out. So, right. Right. Yeah. Oh, that, that's going to fall on the power line. All if you take it out, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Just drop it down in tree link. I'll handle the rest of it. And they're usually... Yeah, they're heavy, oh, yeah. Heavy good. And they usually do it months, or often months after this meeting. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. so right. people... I don't know, do they tell people when, when they're actually coming? Yeah, they usually try to... You know, they give a, a, a like a month, you know, or midsummer. We're going to be doing this. If, if you put down on the questionnaire, they sent you a questionnaire ahead yes. of time. If you put down that you'd like to be there or talk to them, they'll do that. But otherwise, they might just come through. You know, they might be gone. a lot of they're come they're, home and find well, right? They're they're racing through, and they have a lot of a lot of uh, territory to cover. So you know. If you want input, you can get it, but otherwise they're just like, yeah. Although, although, Lynn, we got a note from these guys saying, oh, yeah, we're going to cut some trees. So Lynn called and said, so like, what do you got in mind? 25 minutes. The guy filled her in on all the details between the maintenance people and the emergency people. And the maintenance people don't do emergency stuff, and the emergency people don't do it. And it's like, it's like, oh, okay. Too well, much, I was just too much information. What, yeah, yeah, right. What, what, what are you gonna do <coughs> next to my house? Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, go, go ahead. He he really wanted her to know. Well, that's so, good. Yeah, no, they're 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 pretty well, informative. Right. Uh, if you're gonna keep my power on, cut. <laughs> yes. Well, there's that too. Yes. It's, so, I mean, do we need a motion to uh, propose those? No, this or? this is okay. just. Uh, I'm asking is yep. in general. There's no. It's great. You can if you want. It's, <laughs> no, let's just. Have those dates. So I will talk to them and um, propose those two dates, see what works best for them, and yep. then we'll work from there. I'll get it all noticed. Good job. Yep. All right. So um, the other, only other thing we have is if people want to start talking about what you're going to be doing in the next year.
Can I bring up one more thing before? Oh, sure. Um, the uh, select board is running a little town meeting this year, mm -hmm. and the town moderator wants a planning board member to be present to talk about the solar uh, amendment. Um, I volunteered Tim, unless uh, he can come up with other people. So. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm the best person. I, I mean, I would do it if maybe somebody else could be sort of backup. <laughs> maybe Rich. I mean, I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so you can share. Well, the they, will, they will most likely want just a little presentation of what it is. And well, we have the survey results and, you know, that. I think that's that's kind of central to what we ended up with. Is yeah, that yeah, yeah. I mean, we should. It, it's, it's, an, it's an odd assortment of parts uh, because of that. So, I mean, I think that's a good thing to explain. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, just ex give an overall explanation, I guess, of what, you know, where the large arrays can go. And, and well, so, and people have questions, I mean, I assume. Yeah, well, to say, and that came from the survey. We were undecided and were guided by the survey. Or, yeah. Well, and I think, I think we want to start by saying we enthusiastically support small arrays that are that's a good substantially idea the same size as any other structure you could build. Uh, and I think that will, that's a really good thing to say, because, I mean, because it happens to be true, but it's it gracious and it sounds affirming to the town. Um, and then we've come up with rules for medium and large arrays. Right, and we basically have no regulations for roof now. I mean, that's right. Hardly mm -hmm. any, so. Right, so I think, you know, to say we're encouraging small-scale solar arrays, we want to make it pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it sounds like it needs to be scripted in order to hit the high points. I mean, well, yeah. I, th I think that's a really good idea, is to start with what's most generous. And, I mean, the idea is that we, we definitely wanted to encourage all of that. I mean, that was clear, and so, so did everybody in town, by and large. And, well, then it, and the energy chapter, too. We right. had the energy chapter, and that was our first step, then, right. was to, um, you know, change the zoning to make sure that it was clear that we wanted these things and under the circumstances. Yeah, yeah. And, then the, and then the rest is just what came from the, from the question. Yeah, maybe we could say that 35 years ago when the zoning was adopted, there was no solar, so we thought we needed something. And we started and we worked on it over a year because we kept learning as we went and it just kept, kept getting more and more involved. That's why, that's why it took so long. Well, they don't care about that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have an agreement on should, kind of what, what the capacity is for small, medium, large, because I would think people might want to just be aware of what that is. The right. small system can, I don't know, does anybody have those numbers kind of? You no, know, the thing before? about it is, I mean, we can say, but the technology is going to change. So right. what we're mostly concerned about is the dimensional aspect of it being like any other structure, which is the point Rich made. And, and uh, you know, so we're just kind of treating it. Right. But I mean, I think. It would be helpful. Right, well, for the small ones, it's 2,000 square feet, right? Right. And so that should equate to a certain number of panels in today's yeah. a panel yeah. size. Yeah. And yeah. that should equate to a certain number of kilowatts, which is one or two or three or whatever number of homes, average homes. We had that. Um, it's, it's, it's complicated because you get. For each system, you have two different numbers. You have the one which is the productivity of the system over like a month or whatever they decide the unit of time is. And then the other one is sort of this label of this is a something kilowatt hour system. Right. And like the those peak, numbers are not the same. The peak capacity. As opposed to what you're I'm actually not, I still haven't been able to figure out yeah. what the difference is between them, but mm -hmm. having just gotten a roofer or just signed up to get a roofer, I know that they call it like a 
12, but it'll deliver 15. So mm -hmm. it, you'll get you'll get two different numbers, yeah. and uh, usually they they give it as a percentage of your total use. Mm -hmm. but my sense may, is that may, 600 650 is something like the average house. We may not want to get into that at right. the meeting. It's going to no. be well, yeah, but somebody's going to ask. Somebody, he, uh, Rich is right. Somebody's going to say, well, you know, well, how big is that? What is it? What what is it supply? And you want to have some sort of you want to have some sort of uh, reference. We have that on the questionnaire, so I think we should use that exact same information. Remember the cover letter for the questionnaire? I think we took it off the questionnaire because it was too confusing. That's what I said. Well, we had it, and so those are maybe the numbers we would use rather than creating new ones. I don't know if anybody has a draft of the cover yeah. letter. Yeah. Would be something like the the rooftop house mounted and tracker ones are like your house. Right. The 2,000 square foot one is like three or four houses. And the five to seven acres is a megawatt. Yes. However, yeah. However, yeah. yeah. no, so I think those numbers are right. The, um, the medium is, what's the medium? 2,000 to, 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 uh, to an eight. To, eight. To, <laughs> no, it was up to 2,000. Yeah. Um, right. Yeah. Defined, me defined small, didn't it? Yeah. And then yeah. and then medium was up to well, 2, five acres. acres. Well, the maximum we had was seven acres. The and then five to seven was, was large. Do you have the warrant? I can't remember. Wait, I do have the warrant. <laughs> Like, Way too it's like an organic chemistry exam. I worked really, really hard to understand all of it, and now and we passed the exam. Right, exactly. Forgot it all. Exactly. So we have here um, uh, medium is between two thousand and no more than uh, an acre, forty-three thousand five hundred sixty yeah, feet, and that's the the bounding right. box around. The, the, the array. So theoretically, that's like twenty percent of a, me, a one mega, megawatt, or yeah. twenty, right. yeah. two hundred kilowatts. And, and somebody yeah. could do that at their house if they had the land and all of that stuff. Yeah. Sure. Right. They could do that. Huh. How did you do that, David? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think the other piece we're we're not going to have. Are we not? I don't think you want to have that up there. Yeah, no, 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 no. People can't read it. No, no, no. Bring no, no, no. You could make slides. You could make, make do we want to make something that people can look at, or do we just want to stand up on our hind legs <coughs> and wave our hands? I don't know. I mean, it's pros and cons either way. Because the other thing um, to, to share is the, was it table five? It says where mm -hmm. things are allowed. Where things are allowed. That would be that, that's hard to, I mean, if you're used to it, it's easy to make sense of, but I think if you put that up there, it, it might that's be hard for people to. Yeah, they have to look at it a long time to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to know how much to get in the weeds. I know, I know. You know, because weeds start getting too I would not get into the weeds. I don't plan no more than five minute, like, introductions right. to it. Right, and then people can ask Questions yes. and there'll be three of at least three of you there, and four of us. Which it's, it's, <laughs> I, 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 I'm hoping to go, yeah. Because yeah. then it's like those those game shows where you can ask a friend or whatever you know. To, yeah. To, uh, yeah. Right. Well, so you want what did we Yeah. What did what did we say about that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So up yeah. to one acre is medium. Right. Right. Yeah, I think, it, and yeah, then just do a sort one, of a, one to five. a quick definition, a quick explanation of yep. the high points, and then what's the goals to say what we're trying to do with it's this? It's one to seven, isn't it? One to seven. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's seven is kind of a megawatt. Right. Kind of. Well, actually, kind of. five. I think it's five acres. Well, it depends. They said five to seven, depending upon. Yeah. Right. How it lays out. Right. Yeah. 
Uh, how big is the one over on Grassy Road? Uh, I'm, I'm just like, maybe I looked it up and I could get my phone. No, but how many acres? <coughs> oh, it's it's really big. Um, 20? Where's it, that? It thing? dodges the one in, that Hanover, because uh, uh, it dodges a bunch uh, of wetlands. Up above Oak Hill. So it's, it's like, you know, where they, where they could put it. And you don't know how many make ones? I it's, used to know. But you used to I, I, I don't, you know, the town, I don't keep that. Is that the know. town? It's yeah. municipal, right? Yes. So, yeah. So that goes to, where's that like, is that like just, it just goes in the grid, right? Yeah. 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 And you get paid to have those pools. Yeah. 98% of the town's electrical needs are generated with that and also a rooftop. So, you know, the town is really serious about getting to be 100% renewable by 2030 for the town. Now it's then the rest of the town, you know, residents also need to get on the bandwagon. All right. So yeah. you, you got your you got your people lined up for the for the meeting. I'm not going to be there. Sorry. So otherwise I'd be happy to help. Um, all right. So I think you guys. So who is who's going to be? Shouldn't have an these these three. Okay. Jim can start us off. The array is on eight acres, made up of 4,560 solar panels that will generate 2 million kilowatt hours. They have it on two different lots. 2 million kilowatt hours over what time period? Uh, um, let's see, it's going to be 2 million kilowatt hours of electricity. That's 2 megawatts. It's the largest municipal solar farm in the state. Municipal solar farm. Um, oh, the one in Hanover? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so, so the, he has that work. The town gets the money, right? I mean, they sell the electricity. Yeah, they don't have to sell And where's that money? Anymore. That just goes into the town. Yeah, the town, um, the town has a huge amount. I mean, they run a wastewater treatment plant, a water, you know, right. water, water vacation place. Uh, the, the wastewater treatment or water reclamation plant is a huge sink for the electricity. Um, the thing is like a big one. But that money just goes in to support. Well, did we don't make a whole, we don't, I don't wonder if we break even, okay? Right. And so, yeah. um, well, it pays for the electric bill. It's just huge when you look at all the facilities that yeah, the town has. Yeah, someone who was running public works and was bidding it out. Peter Kowalski, yeah. Yeah, he was saying it was 150000 does it, does it um, I mean, it goes back into the grid and yes. then you get you pay for it with the credit. It's a, it's a credit. Like so does it pay just the power portion of the electric bill or does it pay the whole thing? I would say just the power portion because right. there's no just, I mean, we still have to pay for distribution lines. Right. Um, Which is like 50%. Yeah. But Dartmouth, you know, generates electricity using steam. So they've got their own little power plant and they've got their own little system there so they don't have to pay for distribution for that electricity. Right. right. Oil. Yeah. It's, diesel. it's diesel. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. really bad. It's like number two. They were talking about wood, right? I mean, yeah. Bad. yeah, no, they're going geothermal right now is what I've heard. <clears throat> like a lot, like like a thousand wells. They would they can run a hard job. <laughs> they've do got steam tunnels that already do that. The whole campus is like a nest underneath. Oh, right. The whole campus is ridiculous. ridiculous. But the, 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 they're going. How do you mean? It's completely tunnels underneath it everywhere. Yeah. You get you get tours of the tunnels, the yeah. steam tunnels. Huh. You walk through? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, under the green? Oh, yeah. Around the green, there are yeah. steam tunnels and communication tunnels and all kinds of things. Well, now they've got the. Yeah. All the way to the med school. Cold water. Also, right. so, so there's the chiller. But I meant the geothermal to, to get the heat. The you run the, 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 the pipes under horizontally. No, the they, no, no, this is down. Well, yeah, but I think what they're going to say, do it with two wells, and then they run horizontal between the two uh, wells. I, you know, I don't really know. All I know is that they're going to have like a thousand wells and, you know, the supply campus. How deep do the wells have to be? I don't know. You have to get to water. Gallons no, but, they need. but you have to get to a temperature too before it makes sense. Well, I mean, once you go down four feet, it's 50 degrees. Yeah. I think well, it just may not be warm enough. 
That's all you get. Yeah. That's all you get. That's any warmer. It's not any warmer. You're not drilling into the magma. It's yeah. not like geothermal, it's like, like, like a uh, power plant. Like Costa Rica, there's this volcano. Yeah, and yeah I guess it does depend on the, on the Iceland, geography. Iceland, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it just depends on the gallons per minute they need. I don't know how yeah. much they need to run. But yeah, it's true. I think. So it's, it's just a heat pump. They said. It's just a heat pump. It is a big heat pump. Yeah, and at 50 degrees, they can make it work. Yeah. It's a great way to go because once it's once it's there, it's just this little motor pumping of water. That's all it does. Well, can you convert your own well into one? Yes, yes absolutely. Oh yeah. Personal geothermal is a thing. Is yeah. It, is it very expensive? It, yes. It's not cost effective at this time. Yeah. I, I was in touch with somebody about it, and it can be it can be cost effective, but it so it runs a long way out. Yeah, if you're 100, you live to be 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a complicated district heating system so that you're not just doing a house, but you're doing a bunch of houses, right. then that, that, you know, you get economies yeah. of scale. Right. And the same thing with, um, you know, they're talking about creating microgrids where, you know, all the solar is actually connected, collected, put into a battery so that it can be used at night when, you know, right. there is no solar and stuff, and right. having battery, central batteries. and. Um, so that's in the Hanover Town Plan for like next step for figuring out how to. Somebody told me that if you want to test the batteries, you have to put it in a fireproof space. We well, should um, because they. they, but, they the, but the other ones you don't because of some shenanigans. Um, um, the hmm. power wall. They we talked to the people and they said, oh no, no you have to go in a whole shed outside. Because it oh, catches on fire. Yeah, I mean, it's bad, it's bad juju if it catches on fire. Yeah. Well, the problem I, don't know, is that, I don't think that's a requirement, because I'm... I don't think it's a requirement, but it's considered... Yeah, it's probably advisable. Yeah. I read somewhere they're not allowing, in some place, one place, anyway, they're not allowing electric cars to be parked in the parking garages. Yeah. No, they're trying. The, the problem is that when they, they do catch on fire, uh, mm -hmm. well, no, you can't put them out with normal... Water. You can... I, I saw a video of a Tesla that was on fire in a lake. <coughs> it produces yeah. its own oxygen to burn, and so oh, it to electrolyze the water. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, it doesn't no, it doesn't cover the actually the batteries when they burn. It they uh, create enough, oh, and, and so and you, you, right. And you can pour water on them all day long, and you it's just going to keep burning. So I, I, I've been playing with my calculator here. Um, a up to 2,000 square feet of solar panels. Uh, the typical solar panels today are about 400 watts. So you multiply. That's about 133 panels at 400 watts. It's about 50 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. So that's four homes, five homes. It's way more than one home. It's far less than 10 homes. So I mean that that's. That's for 2,000. With the 2,000 square foot um, small array, you could do several, I would, I guess it would be fair to say several homes. Right. Or just, if you had your own personal one, then you would just sell more back and get more money. Well, that's right. Um, you know, and, and I have I have 23 panels on my house, and they're older, uh, and that comes out to 6,900 watts, and I've got a 7 kilowatt array, 7,000. So, these are close enough numbers for the for the public need. So then you just multiply by five to go up to the ten thousand, which is the maximum for the medium. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's no, it's an it's acre. An acre. Yeah. It's an acre. Yeah, forty-three, five, sixty. Yeah. Right, but but that counts all the space between the, <coughs> the racks where. You don't want to get into that. Again. No, no, no. no. Uh, that's <laughs> <a little. laughs> what, what I was sort of dancing around was like, is you know, is is a two thousand square foot array? Is that enough to provide all the power to Lyme, or to my house, or what? And it's a few. I think it's fair to say a few houses. A few houses. Yeah. And leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's kind of our design point that. If you want to run a few houses, or you've got an office that has a bunch of power, uses a bunch of power, here you've got a bunch of electric cars. 
electric cars, or you've got a bunch of machines, you know, that, or you just want to get more money. Reduction money start. Well, you'll, <coughs> you'll, oh my gosh. You'll really go, expensive. you'll go broke waiting to get paid. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. Well, you get paid, but you don't get paid much. Right. Yeah. So you can right. say that, that the, the small do three, you know, at least three houses, three or four houses, and we, we, we know that the large is, uh, uh, what is it, me a megawatt, in, in the range of a megawatt. Yeah. And I don't know what you say for the medium is. Almost about a fifth of that. Yeah, so, <laughs> right, <laughs> whatever it is. And, um, you know, another thing that we threw in here was that, that uh, oh, no, no, I was gonna say, I will, I will finish my sentence. The entire energy consumption for the town of Lyme is 13 megawatt hours, but I've been talking about <coughs> watts, which is the maximum amount of production at any one moment. Yeah. So, yeah, no, apples and oranges. I ain't going there no, in, no. in a public meeting. No. Maybe Tim wants to. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll be Tim, Tim's. Uh, yeah. So, all right, do, um, do we want to uh, discuss anything about the coming year, what, what your plans are? This isn't in the town report. It's in the town report. Yeah, 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 it's in the and I said, usually they right. put a, uh, in the warrant, it's do you want to do this, see the end of the report for full text. Full text. Oh, so, wouldn't that be nice instead of having to wait? Well, it does have the, I mean, I'm hoping it has the full text. That's what in the town oh, report, yes, it has the town report. Yeah. report it does. Yeah. The ballot is about a paragraph. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we can just say oh, it's on page whatever on the town report. Yes, oh, so exactly. this is a ballot item, not yes. people are going to vote all day long. Yes. Right, it's right, right, right. It's not going to be. No good. Discussion on but yeah. Little Town Meeting is just there to basically allow people to have a discussion uh, without a, a well, vote. Well, I some questions. Yeah. I mean, it's like you're not changing it. You yeah. have questions. Yeah, yeah but a lot of times in the in Little Town Meeting, if somebody's convincing, it'll, it'll kill or make the. Mm -hmm. Right. It depends on how many people go to town, go to town meeting. Yeah, we're followed up by the listserv, you know. Uh, but, uh, well, I mean, we did the best we could. Yeah. Right. And, if, yeah, exactly. If, if people don't want it, then that's their prerogative. And if they do, they got it. Yeah. And it, it, this yeah. isn't going to change, you know, this isn't going to be the final word on this stuff. Right. Good. So what else is talked about at Little Town Meeting? Because I haven't... Anything. 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 And also, as we said, the, the warrants that are voted on, that when there won't be any discussion. Right, I understand that. That's yeah. important yeah. for there to be a discussion. Well, yeah. Presumably, we've already had our public hearings on the zoning yeah. amendments. Well, so this is not a public hearing. This is just right. an informational, informational session about what is being it here as to being voted vote on. Is it's not a can't change it. This is how it is, and this is right. you know we can do a little bit of this is where it came from, but. If people have specific questions, they can get answered. Sure. And maybe. Right. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I think there will be probably a lot of discussion about the shoe strap road porn. Right. At Little right. Town Meeting. Right. Yeah. Well, cool. well, was that, then, does anybody know, was that done by individual, or was that done by the select board? So the select board wants to just throw it back to the letters. Right. And we said. The whole road. Yeah, the, well, no, the six. section that's that's class six at the moment. Yeah. And several of us said, but it's a really lovely pathway between, you know, the river and 
the trails that are up here, yeah, and it would be it would be a shame to throw it up. <coughs> Some of that could be abutters. That doesn't control in any way what cars can come through because the abutters can just let everybody drive through, and that's the problem at the moment is cars come whizzing up and then they hit the they hit their accelerator right by our house and come past all of our houses. Um, so. Um, well, plus, the town's worried about liability. No, there's no liability. Really? It's not on the class six. No, no. Oh, I thought. No. <laughs> and the abutters could close it entirely, or they could just let cars keep driving through. So Hunter drafted Hunter Snyder, who is on the Electric Aggregation Committee. He's my neighbor. He drafted, and I helped write, but he took it to the select board because they like him better than me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, something that said. Um, make it into a Class A trail instead, the way they did with the River Road. Yeah. Um, and they have decided to put both of those things on the warrant. There's two warrants. Or There's two articles, right. or whatever you call them, and um, they are mutually exclusive, essentially. So well, are they so one could pass without the other passing? If, <coughs> if one passes, then the other one is just moot. Yes. Okay, so, oh, wait a minute. So, if the if they throw back the trail, I mean th the road yeah. to the abutters, yeah. yes. then the other one becomes right. that's right. gone. In yeah. fact, that's exactly what it says here. Uh, Article ten is to make is to throw it up to give it back to the to the abutters, and then Article eleven says if it will be a class six road. And the very oh, last thing it says is, should Article 10 pass, this article shall be null and void. Why don't we vote on the trail first? That's my Well, yeah. isn't Oh, my God. So wait a minute. So, so okay. That's, so, that's, that's, very, that's very devious of the select board. And why don't we have a select board member here? That's like, well, really, yeah. that's a sales so, job. Because they can't wait to come to an extra meeting. But, but so if. But I think that order can be changed mm -hmm. at the meeting. Well, maybe right. that's a good thing to ask right. the moderator. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the the second one only. What what happens if they reject the first one? Yeah. Yes. Then, that becomes a trail. If they pass no. the second one. Well, if they no, pass if the if the second one is passed, right. then the whole. It's a class A trail like River Road. Okay. Right. What happens to the road? It just continues as is. Right. If they okay. go there, but they but they could put Jersey barriers or boulders or something on it. Yeah. Okay. Who who would do that? The town. For a trail. For a trail. Yes. Yep. Okay. So you could bike. Them. You could bike or walk. Bike and ride your horse and all those things. Right. right. But you could. But. Uh, I think it should be a trail. But if it goes to the. It's really the butter, decided to get then off. Right. The one of butter right could away. say, I don't want. That's right. I want. Exactly. I don't want anybody to be broken. Completely right. close it. So it sounds like either way, people aren't going to be driving through there. Well, the the, abut the abutters could let cars continue to drive through. <coughs> there. There's no, they could just leave it open. Yeah, but chances are, at least one person would probably say no. I don't know. <coughs> there's, there's, there's nobody really on that section of the road. Right. It's just and each abutter would only get up to the center line of the road. Well, and that's the thing. You have to survey the whole damn thing to get it to the abutters, and how would you do that? It's all steep slopes right through there. So, so yes, yeah, so, yeah, because when a town is, or a road is thrown up, a town road is thrown up, then it, it automatically the abutters are in the middle. Yeah, but where's the middle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, well, whatever. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the people that live on the west side of all that, yeah. it is more, con there is, I can see it's somewhat convenient to be able to go through there to, to get to the town or whatever, right. rather than going all the way around. Right. I mean, the uh, other possibility is both of them don't pass, yeah, and it stays right. the way it is. Mm -hmm. And just people driving through there. Some people don't believe in public trails, and they don't believe in giving up the public right of way. Mm -hmm. Because some people think that that's very short-sighted, and mm, it could be. Well, unfortunately, last summer we did, there was a couple of camp buses mm -hmm. that yeah. drove through. Yeah. That's right, this, this, is, this is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> little kids rolling down the bank. Yeah. 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 But the town's not liable. No. Nope. See, I was under the impression that they were. Because no, people have told me that even if you put up travel at your own risk and all that, you can still get sued. Well, anybody can sue, they but can there's sue no basis for it. Yeah, there's no standing for it. Well, that's great. Yeah. 
Well, we'll see what happens. I'm hopeful. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you can present that at little town meeting. I mean, which the you know talk about the pros and cons. Of oh yeah. All that. <coughs> yeah I don't know. You can reverse the order, right? Well, yeah. and and at at the meeting, somebody could move to say, "I'd like to consider Article 11 before Article 10." And then Kevin would do his right usual yourself. superb job of saying, well, he's okay, and got a second, you know, and, and... It just seems crazy to be giving up a town resource like that. Mm -hmm. It is crazy. Hanover really has suffered from all the classics roads that they did look back. And huh. um, connectivity, I mean, there's Elm Road that goes, uh, you know, like used to connect things and now you can't go go there. And well, it's crazy. crazy. There are beautiful stone walls. So there's there's a hundred, hundred acres, mm -hmm. a couple hundred, few hundred acres of that Preston <coughs> Road <coughs> got sold and now have no trespassing signs on. Right. So is that a, yeah. to like the It goes there's a classics road that goes yeah. all the way through. Yeah. There's but you can go on the classics road. Yeah, but there's a bunch but of. But yeah, and then you go on to East Street. East that, Street. Yeah, yeah. that the, they've, they've closed it. Which is ridiculous. Big wide road. Yeah. So why is it, how did it get closed? Because they gave it up. The town gave it back to the abutters. Yeah. Because the town road. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, town meeting gives up roads and the select board lay them out. Um, but yeah, and I do easement monitoring up there, and it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Some of the roads up there are it just is. beautiful. Lovely old maples. It's amazing stone walls, and mm -hmm. to see the extent of the fields that existed up there, it's crazy. And the views are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. But you could even walk on it. I mean, people let you walk on it. There's even trespassing. On the other side? Yeah. yeah. So. It just prevents future development out there. I mean, is it? Well, yeah. And that's, you know, it's, it's the town, or it's the whole state is you know, screaming for housing. You know, it's basically taking all that area out of. I'm happy that there's that it all went up there because I think animals need a place to go <coughs> and all that. So, and it's remote. It's difficult to provide services there. It's this steep hills going up there and bad, bad, bad condition of the roads. The, the Mapleby and McLaughlin, yeah. the road that goes past their house. Holden Road. Just beautiful. That's so beautiful. And the views are beautiful. Yeah. And they've also, I know they've had their zoning hearing, they put in their construction access road like way before they got approval for that. They were doing logging. That's still a construction access road. And they've obliterated a good section of the stone wall there, and that's nowhere near where they're going to actually put their driveway. No, we'll including see. they had an upright granite post that I don't know what happened to it. It's gorgeous though. It was supposed to be the old gate. Well, Scott, Scott Bailey and I went up and the nerves. Well, you should see it. <laughs> I haven't been up there since. Oh, well, I I have. I walk up there almost every day, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. What they cleared out, so, and that was well before the zoning hearing. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know how much they're going to cut for the view, because there was some question of whether... Well, they've got a view. They can see down to the church and down hmm. into town now. I mean, they've taken yeah. out, a, you know, pretty much looks like all the softwood. Because there was some question of whether, you know, you could look right up at their house from the town, you know, whether that's... Line, but they're not, they're within 300 feet of they're the road. They're within 300 feet of the road, so it's so definitely not a ridge line. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can see all of you know, Clay's house, you can see, and there's water houses up there. Is this but back towards Washburn Hill, or is this up there? It's right in front of the Hermitage. It's right where they, you know, where that, where, we, where the oh. steep slopes oh, right. situation was. Now, yeah. they've it's a, I can't. I don't even know what they did with all the stones that were in that stone wall. I don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. um, but.
but it's that's just a community resource. I say that is not going to be there anymore. That's at the stone wall in the right of way. Yes, that's it's marks the edge of the right of way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's like where we have a little bit of you know that's part of our community. You yeah. say, don't you know minimize the impact of the stone wall? Well, they definitely did. Well, I don't know. You can see that it's put back and it's not right as stiff. Well, I don't know where the rope, you can't even see where the rocks are. I, I think they got taken up to his house to get to somebody else. But yeah, well, see, I the, don't know. there's been a change, too. There's a difference now between a logging road entrance and a driveway entrance. I, David can help me with this, but I think this, the selectmen now have. Yeah, the selectmen can approve. Um, Temporary logging access. Right, and so it's taken away from us, meaning the planning board. So I don't have to, I own <coughs> the driveway permits now, and I don't, I'm not going to be responsible for logging access. It's going to be through the select, through the select board as part of the well, that's also intent to cut. You can yeah. get deviate you know, uh, state wetlands rules in that way by saying, oh, we're just doing logging, and then all those roads turn into driveways. Yeah, but see, they're not supposed to, right? Well, they, they were ridiculous. Well, but in theory, the selectmen should... Well, the curb cut, the... the, the, the well, I, I, the anybody should access. go up there and take a look at about why we need to be a little bit more careful about when we say even logging access, you know, it's so sacred. They, you know, and how much they cleared. It's, it's not we well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't coincide with where their driveway is going to go. No, no. So there's going to be a whole other part of that stone wall that's going to get taken down. And they've got a huge amount of, um, you know, riprap material. It's, it's uh, armored, you know, for the construction access. And I assume they're going to dig all that up because, and hopefully use it someplace else, but it seems super wasteful that they couldn't have. And they're supposed to restore it back to the way it was when they're done with the logging. Um, but I don't know, yeah, that was, so that's long. completely out of my jurisdiction now. It's up to the select board and all. Yeah, well, I, 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 we're not in a regulatory mood here, but I mean, or we take the role. Take the select board. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's really a shame. There's too many cameras. Um, I mean, David. Yeah, we'll have to see what. But. Sorry. No, I was going to say it is that is a change mm -hmm. now because I used to do also the logging entrances, mm -hmm. any entrance, but now they've taken that away. But maybe that's good in a way because the select board have more power to to make people. Yeah, but good. they don't have the, anyone to other than Scott to go out and monitor it, and as long as it's put back in a way that's not going to cause issues to the road. He's, he, that's all he's going to care about. Well, I'll back up any efforts to come through there. Well, they're my abutters. I mean, we our properties about you know across the stream, so I kind of feel like I shouldn't be the nasty neighbor. But I, it's also I think it, the town is the one that's letting everybody down by not being clear about exactly how big that construction entrance could be. And um, I don't see where those materials were preserved mm -hmm. at all. So yeah, we well, see they have to get big logging trucks and you know and haul I stuff out of there. I understand. Yeah. Are they you know are they still cutting up there? Is there yeah, still um, they're about done. I mean, you know, it, it's you know the kind of quote landing area is very <laughs> neat and uh, you know they sorted and. Softwoods. And, um, I mean, my house shakes when those trees come down, even though I'm on the other side of the brook. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So they they cut, they're cut in front of where the house is going to be? Pretty much. Right? Well, down the hill where the septic is, and, and then they've done a lot of thinning um, so that you can see down the down hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we really are. Well, we can't regulate tree cutting. Right. The thing was big and it's no longer anywhere. Right. But as David 
it said maybe, or if they have to put it back the way it was. Well, I hope that the makes sense. I don't know what the, I don't, I, the whole thing with the select board that <coughs> went through and they just basically said you don't have to deal with this anymore. So I didn't see any draft, I didn't see anything of it. And like if that's what they want to do, I'm not going to fight with them. So I don't know what the, the their requirements, other than making sure that it's not going to um, cause any damage to the road once it's cleaned up, and not become a driveway. Yeah. Right. Well, it, once the uh, intent to cut lapses, it's, it's no longer um, allowed. You're not allowed to use it as an access. But it doesn't mean the stone wall gets put back. Right. Well, I, I can't believe that they're not going to use that logging access road as their construction access road because it's directly to the site. So uh, I know that they're in the in the request you know before the zoning board, the construction access road was yep. there and it's already it was kind of already in. So anybody who might have been able to go to the meeting or say something, it was already there. Yep. So that seems kind of backwards. Anybody know what's going on uh, kind of across from Chafee? Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's invasive. <laughs> exactly what it is. Uh -huh. um, David Roby had purchased that property, and I don't know if you, some of you know Jim Kennedy, mm -hmm. who's a uh, oh, yeah, like, uh, landscape architect. Yeah. yeah. And a little, little bit more than that, he is too. But uh, he's working with David Roby to go in. Um, this road, there's a bunch of old farm equipment that's half buried up in there. All that's coming out and getting removed and scrapped. And then all the invasive species <coughs> are being taken out and basically putting it back to a meadow. Oh, isn't that, though, part of where the Abenaki camping grounds were? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it, it is. It was a horse pasture for, for years and years, and then right. somebody went in and planted those pines, like they were going to harvest them or sell them off. And the, heart, the pines just went yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, in terms of the earth moving, I'm pretty sure that's like where all the, you know, the Mayo field, I and mean, that's where the encampment was, because the first peoples here were really fishermen, the fisher people, and they would come, you know, where Trout uh, Brook and Claybrook were, and spend their summers there. And there are a ton of arrowheads that have come out of that area. Mm -hmm. And so the land disturbance, there's no regulation, but I'm hoping they're being sensitive. Well, Jim's usually pretty good about that type of well, thing. Well, it's Tracy Burns who's doing the work. Jim's not on site. Yeah. They didn't build water or something. Probably, because that's one of Jim's team. Yeah. I know the south end of it is really wet. The north yes. end is not that wet. Anyway, that, it's just taking out the, the invasive species and all of the, the junk and yeah. returning it back to a meadow, so no development. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the idea obviously is to improve it, hopefully. It's, the, the lot. It, it's interesting, a lot of pines are down now and you can look up and then there's some topography there. There's like yeah. a little bit of rise and it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. I actually would. I lived here long enough, I remember when those pines were planted. Yeah. They had this little walk behind auger that they had. They, you know, yeah. Drill holes and yeah, they were little things. Extension probably said it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Great deer yard or something. Those trees, I mean you, you plant them in the like that, they're they're just gonna take off and they're gonna be worthless. You know, they're just unless you prune them. Before that, it was a horse hoarding situation. Mm -hmm. A lot of starving parents. <coughs> yeah, yeah. John Boswell was the judge. He, oh, yeah. he rode in the hunt with us. Oh. And he was the judge, and he was the one that said they could never own horses again. Because he was in a pretty open sense about that. Yeah. So, uh, do you have enough? Do you want to? What do you want to do next year? 
could be we should think about it and come back loaded for bear next time. Well, we we talked about doing a master plan chapter on housing, right? Mm -hmm. I'd support that. Yeah. I would um, suggest people take a look at the housing chapter in Hanover. It's um, easy format. Um, there's goals, strategies to support the goals, and uh, that we don't. I personally feel like we don't need to ask people about how they feel about housing. I think that we should uh, put out a straw person and um, and ask people how they feel about the attitudes that. have changed a lot in the last ten years. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is it easy to find? Yeah, you just go to Hanover, New Hampshire Master Plan. You can go to the town website, and there's a button um, on the on the homepage that you can go to the master plan, or you just Google Hanover NH Master Plan, okay. and you find it. Okay. And uh, Chapter 3 is the housing chapter. And, um, you know, it's a great starting point. The goals may not be the exact same goals. I mean, we should mm -hmm. have a vision statement that's different from what Hanover has, but um, it's a really reason, reasonable s starting point, and uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of data in it. There's a appendix that has the data in it, so it's really more of a strategy plan, and here's what we should do and why, instead of, oh, you know, there's 13 mobile homes in that year, and now there's nine, you know, and that, so, you know, it's, We've done a lot of study, I, and I think it's time to just move ahead. David, you should be able to dig that out and send it to us. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in draft form right now. It hasn't been adopted, oh. but um, Hanover. Yeah, Hanover is. We just had, draft. Yeah, we just had a public hearing mm -hmm. February thirteenth, and we are uh, planning board's meeting the twenty seventh of February to look at the comments that they've received and decide if there need to be changes. And so they're probably going to be second public hearings in March. And then we'll be yeah. done. Good. So. Yeah, it'd be great it's to not, find that done. Yeah, really. Excuse me? It's, like, it's not really written up. Oh, yes, it's very written up. There's Final hundreds thing. of pages. Yes, there's hundreds of pages. Hundreds of pages. Go help yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Future land use ma yeah, chapters really short and sweet, and then really there's chapters on housing, kind of like they they it's a expanding housing opportunity and uh, you know uh, addressing climate change and promote you know vi downtown vibrancy and health and well-being for all and um, uh, preserving our character is the one that does natural resources, historical and cultural stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's organized in a light, slightly different way. But the housing chapter is pretty much just about housing and you know, supporting a land use plan that will make it so we don't have sprawl and you know more with focus the development where there's need for services. And then you can right. once you have that, you have the foundation for what. You're going to write up. Yeah, I mean, ours will be different, obviously, because we've got a slightly different land use plan. We don't have the municipal services, but um, you know, yeah, the, the, we can pick and choose this strategy works, this one doesn't, and what would be better in terms of getting to that housing goal. Um, we can figure the lime way, but it's it's a it, it seems like a reasonable you know structure for working, and we literally did the goals and strategies first. And then wrote the narrative to support the goals and strategies. Good. So I mean that was after Gosh. doing the public it engagement. Sounds like the right order to me. Well, it just it, you know you might as well not write about stuff that you're not going to yeah. enact or yeah. or do anything yeah. about. Yeah. So yeah, I mean in the present master plan, there's a fair amount that talks about you know generally where the you know where the town is headed. Well, this is yeah, that's old. Specific yeah. to housing. Yeah, and, it's older, but it's old. You know, a different thing where we've got a housing crisis. And right. It's and, and attitudes have changed. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, Hanover really doesn't say, you know, in the rural district there's going to be any change. Well, they call it at least there's three residential areas. It's not like based on the current zoning. And so, in, you know, some places, you know, we say things will be the same. But in other places, you know, that's where we want to focus our housing activity. So, um, you know, just that to be really clear. And, you know, we're getting pushback. They also, you know, we're um, You're getting pushback from hired off the coast, which is the missing middle oh, planning, oh. national planning consultants. Right. And so off the coast. Missing middle means that you have affordable housing and expensive housing. Mm -hmm. It means like you are building either like affordable housing or large scale and then put your single family home and what you really need is a variety of housing opportunities so that you're having triplexes and quadruplexes okay. and okay. or you know, so that you can yeah. have townhouses and and you know, small sure. units and stuff. And so that's, you know, we've got a lot of single family and we've built lots of dormitory housing, but we don't have a whole lot in the right. middle. Um, they have, you know, patented the name or whatever, the missing middle, and so they did a zoning ordinance review looking for barriers to housing, and now they are actually coming up with a rewrite for the zoning to, in order to implement the strategies for more dense housing in the downtown area. So that is so the, the, the and this is before the master plan is actually the the Optico study informed the master plan just like an open space plan might inform your natural resource mm -hmm. plan. Um, so it was part of it and is referred to actually in the in the master plan as like okay here's a way to get out of the housing crisis that we have. And one of the goals in Hanover is like they took from the regional planning you know the keys to the valley. 781 housing units. Okay, so we're going to try to do that by 2030. You know, as a goal. In Hanover. In Hanover. 781. Yep. By when? 2030. But we've already got the zoning change down in West Wheelock, mm -hmm. and we've got Joel and Kish right. and the college going to be doing teardowns. That's like 10 houses. I mean, 10 a year. Right? Oh, it's it, no. We're you know, but what we're looking at is you know, kind of. You know, buildings that are going to, you know, obviously we lose some, but because of the density allowances that we're going to be gaining some by tearing down the houses. Oh, the right. park. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the ones on the well, north side. Over 100 a year. 100 yeah, a year. so. It's only 100 years. units, right, right, right. The Hanover yeah. Planning Board's going to be hearing um, informal presentation for the college's plans for the north side of West Wheelock Street, those gray apartments that are uh, west of the new um, engineering building, computer science building. This is the so, replacement for the place out by the fire station, temporarily anyway. Uh, yeah, well this is not going to be undergraduate housing. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that was and they're supposed gonna, to be undergraduate for a while. Yeah, but they're going to put graduate housing out there. They're redoing it for graduate housing mm -hmm. and, yeah. So, and then Jolene Kish owns a part <coughs> of that too and she's got the financial backing with her investors to, um, you know, do more. So we're probably going to have, you know, on either side of West Wheelock Street at the bridge, you know, because we had the bridge stuff going on too, um, we're going to have major construction projects on both sides of the street. And so speaking of congestion. So is that a rental, mostly rental? Yeah. Oh, all of Joe Lynn's stuff is rental. Yep. Yep. This is, and the, the town projects are more like ownership possibility. The senior like house. Condos. Well, like, it's like at the Guyot community, and it's, you know, those are ownership. Mm -hmm. they, uh, off the medical center. Yeah, 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 if you go really past the oh, gas yeah, station yeah. right there up on the right, there's oh, yeah. housing. You can't really see them. But they're like condo. Those are owned. Um, the ones we did down on, uh, on Lebanon Street across from the high school. Those are rental, and um, and then some of that senior. Yeah. It's all senior yeah. or um, like a disabled yeah. adult, um, and then. So they were the, privately built. Well, not? we gave the land to Twin Pines. Oh, okay. So yeah, so Twin Pines manages it, and then we have five acres out on Greensboro Road that's going to be a like workforce housing cluster, and probably that will be the next one. I don't want ownership, but I don't really know. Yeah. We're just starting to get that going. 
so and that's also that land will be conveyed to a nonprofit. So in every instance where Hanover's gotten involved in housing, they end up giving the land to the developer or nonprofit and is you know doing you know some kind of attainable affordable housing and you know and then the town doesn't manage it. What do they mean by trash? What do you mean by trash? I mean all the extra trash. Well, if you live in town you don't necessarily need a car, okay? But people that they want to see, <coughs> students, oh, students, right? students right. right. Oh that's yeah. true, yeah. So, the other well, I mean, JoLynn rents to students. That's her thing, right. and Dartmouth will be renting to students. So that's their thing. So that's you know we're you need that kind of partnership. The guy who's doing development in Fairley and in mm -hmm. Bradford yep. has some interesting postings about the math involved. Yeah, and that you yeah. have to you have to get like free money. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, there's no, uh, no, uh, but in order to get the affordable, that's the only way. Yeah. And then, then, you know, the Jolins and the college is, you know, that's market rate rental. So, well, mm -hmm. they take students an amazing amount. It's what, it's what oh, it would yeah. be for a dorm room. Yeah, it's well, that's, that's what sets the standard for a rental is what they charge for the dorms. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So, and the students, I mean, we've had uh, so much support from the students coming to our master plan hearings going, you know, we really support this. We need more housing opportunities and other Are they places. Are going to get rid of the chokes? Uh, no, not. You know, there's a zoning issue there, and um, black mold on the roof. Well, <laughs> well, anyway, uh, the zoning needs to change there, and you know, it's a touchy neighborhood. So, the zoning ponds. needs to change. They've got a height issue oh, um, there. Um, so, and with the way that the land falls off and the chokes are kind of up. So there's a, you know, that needs to get worked out because there's something about the <coughs> height and the setbacks yeah. that don't work well for that particular place. So, yeah, so, well, you know, it's been yeah. that old 50 years ago. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. worse now. <laughs> so I know, I had friends there, so. I lived there. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's picking the short straw. Yeah. All right, All right, everybody so, had enough? Yeah, take a look at the Hanover, yeah, yeah. We'll um, and it's a draft, and it'll change a little bit, but, you know, it gets us started. Um, and we say, oh, this goal doesn't sound right for this town at all, but, you know, how can we modify that intent so it is right for Lyme? And I have word copies and everything, so hopefully it'll be easy to, to get something quick. Word snippet. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Shut it down. Shut her down. All right. So, do we want to touch base before our drill town meeting? Happy to. To just kind of figure out. Stand there for the school meeting. Little town meeting. Before the school.